everybody, so today is an unboxing video for uh, from the Spider Shop UK. Um, this is a mature male brachypelma oval blossom, uh, the true form. And it's very exciting because this is going to be my first breeding project with the lovely Aragog. So, Let's get the mail out of the box and see how he's doing. I haven't set up the enclosure yet, the enclosure's in here for him as well. I believe he's freshly molted in March, which is handy, so we just need Aragog to molt now. Let's hope she does it. As always, any of my fellow subscribers, if you have any breeding advice, would be awesome. I've obviously done a ton of research, but it's it's good to get people's knowledge as well. Could be extra help for me. Right. Okay, so well packaged as usual by the spider shop, as you can see. Here's the enclosure. I imagine the actual tarantula will be in here. That's what they usually do. This keeps it extra safe. Let's just get some of these watsits off. That's what I call them, white watsits. Just make sure that there isn't anything else, just in case, you never know. Right, so, nice one. Let's get this out of the way. And check this out. So this is the enclosure I'm going to be keeping them in. Usually I use like the glass aquarium style enclosures, but um, due to finances at the moment, we're just going for this one. Oh god. Just done all the housework today, so the less mess the better. Okay, here's the box here with the mail in it. Now, there is one small, tiny issue. Unfortunately, I've forgotten, or I didn't realise rather, that I haven't got a feed for the spider. So that's unfortunate. So I'm trying to work out uh, a way to get a cheap hide and what I can do. But I'm obviously going to order them one especially. All hides are in use at the moment. I didn't realise I had run out. Okie dokie, so uh, I'm just going to set up the enclosure and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I'm really gutted I don't have a head for this guy. I feel so bad. Like, I feel so guilty. I didn't realise I didn't have one. Uh, I'm maybe going to have to walk up to the shops and buy a plastic plant pot and cut it in half um, and while I order one that I like. Because I don't want... This guy's obviously just arrived. He's going to be stressed out as it is uh, with no way to hide. So... I do feel really bad about it, but once I get something I'll make an update video just to let you guys see, but it's pretty exciting stuff. So what I'm going to do, what I find easier for me is just to put whatever it is they arrive in inside the enclosure and remove like tissue and stuff. I'm going to put more in the middle because if he does a runner, 
you want to be able to make sure he doesn't jump off the edge of the table. Oh, he's already flicking hairs. Wow, look at him. So here we go. This is our mature male. Um, don't really want to disturb him too much. I think it's a good idea. Maybe just let him come out in his own time since he's flitting hairs. So what we'll do is we'll pause you guys and we'll come back uh, when he's when he's came out of his little place that he's in. It's obviously highly stressful, the travel and the post, etc. Alright, so we'll be back with an update as soon as we get him out of here into his enclosure, when he decides he's ready to come out. So while we wait on our new friend coming out of his little box, what we'll do is we'll just give Aragog a feed and see if she's hungry. I'm trying to work out if she's in primo or not. She doesn't have the bald spot, but she started going in and out of Copadome and she never goes in it. So let's have a look and see if she'll take this down for us. Yep, she's not in primo. So I don't know what to do, guys. For the research that I've done, is that you need to wait until the female tarantula has molted and it usually has to be between one to three months. However, I've also read that females don't always molt for a couple of years. So what, what should I do? Um, if I don't want to get this process wrong. It is my first time. I have done a ton of research, but I know you guys are experts and a lot of you guys have done breeding. So any any help or any interest would be awesome. So yeah, we've put the new guy here. Yet to discover a name for him. So I haven't really looked at him obviously because he's in his wee uh, tub. Wait there, Ryan, I'll open the lid because he's not going anywhere. Yep, there we go. So he's in there. Um, as I said, I'm not going to disturb him. I'm going to let him come out in his own time. I think that's always the more healthier way to do it for the tarantula, let them settle in. Especially because I don't have a hide for him to go into. Normally if he had a hide I would uh, I would probably would bring him out, but uh, he doesn't have one, so let's let him relax into it. So there is the future girlfriend, Aragog, munching down. Obviously I would prefer it if she molted, but she's not in pre molt as we've just seen, so... Guys, what do I do? What is the best conditions? I'm obviously going to do even more and more and more research, I'm not just going to bash in. The male molted last month, so he was freshly molted in March, um, so yeah. I want obviously everything to go well, and I want my first breeding attempt to go well. Uh, I want to get some babies, obviously. And I don't want Aragog to make mincemeat out of him because she's she's quite a feisty girl. A lot of people always when I research this species, the bee elbows, they were uh, supposed to be very chilled and stuff. Aragog isn't. She's quite fast. She's got quite a good feeding response. Um, me and myself and my husband have done the paintbrush test on her. Uh, tapped her in the butt with a paintbrush and she went wild um, and flipped and sh yeah it wasn't pretty so we didn't do it again uh, so she is she's pretty she's she's a pretty feisty girl so if you guys have any breeding knowledge especially of this species let me know I'm going to be watching a ton of videos I'm going to be reading about it all over the internet I've already done this but I need to know more and do more before I, I go out right in and attempt the breeding. Alright, so we'll come back to you guys as soon as the new one is out of his little shell. Thanks for watching so far. Hi everybody again. So he's coming out. He's coming out of his little box. Um, was just going to sit and watch some TV there when Ryan noticed that he was on his way out. I didn't even notice. Uh, if you Take a zoom in Ryan, you'll be able to show everybody. Uh, if you have a look here, there's the tibial hook that shows that it's a male. 
Um, and if there's anybody here that's new to Tarantulas, most of my subscribers are experts by the way. So if there's any new guys, the tibial hooks are only on mature males. You can also see here the bulbous pedipulp. Now, what the um, tibial hook is for is when the male is, is going to breed with the female, he'll hold her fangs back with the tibial hooks so that the bulbous pedipulps can get a good chance to insert into the epigastric furrow which is basically a little area on the female tarantula where, where the male can insert the bulbous pedipulps and inject the sperm um, so yeah, that's, that's how you can tell a mature male tarantula so I'm very excited. I've obviously I've never had a mature male. I've got a mature I've got a male spider, but he's not mature yet. Um, and I'll be looking in the future to get a girlfriend for Horace here. Although that's a bit worrying. Don't want him. Don't want her to make mince me out of Horace. He's beloved to me and Ryan. He's actually Ryan's favourite as well. But uh, yeah, so he's he's making his way out. So what we'll do is we'll pause you guys again. And we'll give we'll give the new guy peace to, to make his way out and find his way about the enclosure and then we'll get a further wee video of him. So bear with us guys, we're gonna pause you right now and we'll be back. Hi everybody, back again. The new guy's out, he's finally out his box. Uh so yeah, looking good. He actually had a wee groom earlier, so he was sitting in the box grooming, and then he's came out. So uh, he's looking good. Quite big, isn't he? What you'd expect for a mature male. Skinny butt, long legs. Might try and give him a feed. I don't know what you think of that, Ryan. Think I should try. I know usually they have a settling in period, but if he was sitting grooming, I mean, can it do any harm? It can't do any harm. And he moulted a month ago, so... Although I know that the spider shop did feed him a cricket like before they shipped because I booked I ordered them like at the start of the week kind of thing so let's get these guys Oh there's one out, a volunteer eh? Oh for God's sake Alright, come on we know you want to die See if he'll take it down for us. Maybe not. Give it a sing. Just the Aragog's so much faster we're feeding response. I'm used to her boom, she takes it. Maybe I should uh, alter where it is. Oh, right, there we go. Where did it go? It's right on his leg. Mm. Maybe too nervous to eat. Pretty docile then. Mm. As I said, uh, what we're used to is Aragog going straight for the kill. Never well. any questions asked. Maybe it's the stress levels, man. I know, I think it's because it's just arrived. Could be. I've never tried to feed Clarence yet either. And he's been here a week. So maybe we should try Clarence. Where did that hobby go? Typically on the ceiling. Got you. Right, okay. So we're going to have to move the new guy. Still don't have a name for him, but I'm working on it. I said Albert and Ryan said no. He just looked like an Albert to me. Alright, so this is Clarence. I know he's not a Brachypelma smithy anymore, but the new scientific name escapes me. This hopper's just... Oh, look at that. Insta-kill. Nice one, Clarence. He was ready for that. He's looking good, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's obviously not a Boris replacement, Nobody, no spider will ever replace Boris, but Clarence is nice. He's a bit more feisty than 
Boris was really slow, mm -hmm. um, but Clarence is quite more of a hair flicker, I would say. More of an attitude. He's if you look if and you there's focus, a, there's Horace. Yeah, your favourite. <laughs> if you go and look, focus on the abdomen, Ryan. The abdomen. Yeah, you'll see the bald spots where he's been kicking all the hair off. Mm. Boris wasn't really a hair flicker. Yeah. Clarence seems to be more of a hair flicker. He didn't have all that much hair though, did he? Horace. I mean Boris. Boris. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was getting my Boris and Horace mixed um, up. I'd, I needed to mention as well while we're on this video. We have had another loss. Uh, sadly, Nagini, the tiny Pyrigalus sling, passed away. Got stuck in his molt, so very, very gutted about that. But, um, it's just one of the things that they're either going to make it in the mold or they're not. So Nagini didn't make it, and he was he wasn't. Um, I don't even know how long I had him for, but he did have one successful mold. The sit and he always ate fine. Um, always plenty of water. He had a tiny water dish in there. I don't know what, what could have caused it. Just bad mold, I guess. But so everything else is looking good, guys. Uh, Clarence. As you see, he's just taken down his first meal since he arrived. Uh, I'm going to make a praying mantis video soon of Demogorgon. We named the praying mantis, which is an Indian flower mantis, we've named him af her, sorry, after the monster in Stranger Things. So if you've seen that programme on Netflix, that's what we've named Demogorgon after. And we've called her, called her Demi for short. So, upcoming video plans, um, definitely to include Demogorgon and the next video plan, when I've got the cash, will to be to rehome Eclipse. You will not see her, she's in here in her webbed cocoon, um, but she's looking fabulous. So, they're, they're my next two video plans whenever I can get to do them and I hope to make a breeding video. And somebody did request a feeding video, but I don't have that big a collection, so it won't be like everybody else's feeding videos, but what can I say? Somebody also did tell me that it's about quantity and not... No, quality and not quantity. <laughs> Who told you that? Um, I don't know what he calls himself now, but he used to be Tinchy Tarantulas. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. White horse tarantulas. White, it was Tinchy tarantulas, white horse tarantulas, and the new channel name escapes me. I can't remember. Yeah. But uh, I have, I have been watching everybody's videos. I might not have commented on them, but that's because I've got a lot of catching up to do, and I've got such a busy life. Like always lurking, always watching. I'm always the videos. watching. I'm always, I'm always giving you the thumbs up. At least know that. I've got such a busy life. Um, <laughs> I'm always out and about. I've got that—that's why I deleted my channel. It was overwhelming for me. But I'm back. Um, these are the plans for the future. Um, and yeah, I've just, I've just got such a hectic schedule at the moment. <laughs> uh, you so see, much going on. You sound so full of self-importance right I'm now. I'm not. Fully self important, <laughs> so I'm just saying I've got a heck Too much life. partying uh, is what you're trying there, to tell your subscribers. Oh, thanks, Ryan. There's <laughs> just give the truth out. <laughs> yes, well, uh, I do plan to spend a bit more time on YouTube. Um, Woohoo! And I have been watching all your guys' videos. Um, I watched Dave, I was, I've started watching Dave Scott's full tour. That's what video I'm on at the moment. I think I'm about 20 minutes in. Uh, I've got a few other videos that I need to watch obviously so yeah that's the plans that's the stuff that's where we're at thanks for watching guys